How's it going, guys? We're here to play Star Swirl Academy time and again. A visual novel, and uh, so far it's just a demo from what I hear. Uh, if you want to play it, I'll leave a link in the description to a download or something. So let's start demo. Full de bonus. Okay, don't know what those are. Let's just start the demo. So, all right. Prologue. Good so far. Solid game. 10 out of 10. This demo represents a project still in development. It does not reflect the final game. Some features such as menus and music are placeholders. Swag. This all feels like one big dream. Dreams being the only place where I feel brave enough to stray from the path life has paved for me. Sticking to the path assures me that nothing can go wrong. Following the routine, playing my part, speaking when spoken to. It's a structure that, for the most part, has helped me play it safe. It seems that without any proper direction, I always end up making bad decisions. These actions have defined myself as a person I would rather leave behind. Since I've come to terms with this, I've found it hard to give myself the reins over my life again. That is, if someone like a teacher tells me to do something, I go along with it. That's, just, that's what I do. It normally gets me through school. Even my only friend in the world is the same authority. After all, they seem to have everything worked out better than I do. But is all this what's best for me? I don't even know what's important to me right now. I haven't put that much thought into it, and honestly, I'm not sure if I want to. I feel so unprepared. There I was, willingly surrendering to a life of solitude, when reality, yeah, when reality clicked its fingers in my face. This path I had hopelessly dragged myself, I had been hopelessly dragging myself down, was taking me nowhere. To continue with it would have been meaningless. I allowed myself to take a detour, although I don't quite feel like I've bro broken the mold from having done so, because I wouldn't even be going to the school if my friend hadn't opened the door for me but for what it's worth that da, 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 i'm grateful she did i'll have a chance now a chance to be something i assume i'm a girl tom <laughs> oh cutie tom what hey earth tom there you are you were spacing out again oh sorry i imagine he's like oh sorry my arm throbs a little. Oh. You should pay attention when someone is talking to you. It's rude to ignore people, you know. I've heard this lecture before. If there's one thing I know about Ty, it's that she always... Is that how you pronounce it, Ty? It's that all, she always has a lecture prepared for when she thinks I've done something wrong. She really never changes. Not that that's a bad thing. Sorry, I guess I'm just trying to wrap my head around everything that's going on. It's just too surreal. What's surreal about it? The fact it's happening at all, I suppose. One day I'm going through the motions of my old school, and the next Ty comes back into my life trying to convince me to go to this fancy academy of hers. Trying. Succeeding. Nothing, I guess. She makes an expression like she knows what I was thinking, anyway. You are still dwelling on this, are you? You didn't have to come if you didn't want to, you know. I sigh. No, you didn't. <sighs> Wait, I didn't have to say. <sighs> no, you didn't force me. I just agreed to go, but I'm not sure if this is what I wanted to do. Things are moving so fast for me, it doesn't even feel real. Well, perhaps this would be a good thing for you. If you're stuck in a rut, trying new things is a good way to spur your creativity. Since you're always dragging your feet, I think Star Swirl will do you some good. It probably will. After all, it's a prestigious school, and it'll challenge me academically. There will be new opportunities I wouldn't have had back home. I bet you will be able to find what you're good at before you know it. Ha 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 ha! You make it sound so easy. You never know until you try, right? I suppose. You should really get more into the spirit of this. Star Swirl Academy is going to be absolutely amazing. I can already feel it. Ty is a way of always seeing the brighter side of life. By looking into the sun. Whenever I'm unsure or uncertain about what's going to happen, she's already rushing forward. She told me that while she was away, she had met many amazing people and learned many amazing things. I'm still not entirely sure what she went through, but it seems to have made her grow up quite a lot as a person. She must really have got 
She must really have it together to have received the scholarship she did. The headmaster's scholarship. It's so out of my league, it's kind of funny when I think about it. Actually, that reminds me. So this headmaster, what's he like? She is my idol. Uh. Oh, I just assumed. Anyone would have guessed the headmaster was a man. Wouldn't a woman be headmistress? Although now I think about it, I suppose it's not that uncommon. There's a lot that could be said about her. At least you didn't give me a lecture on the subject. She has the sense of grace about her. She does everything with a regal air. She's incredibly smart. Probably the smartest person ever. I think you're playing her up a little bit now. She's incredibly kind and forgiving, both wise and clever. And for her age, she's beautiful. Wow. That's quite the glowing review, Ty. If I had to guess, it sounds like you have a crush on her. I ship it. What? Absolutely not. She's just a very nice woman. I'm excited to finally meet her. Hey, it's okay with me if you want to swing that way. I just never would have guessed you went for the older types. Ty turns away from me to stare out the window. You're a jerk! Better than always a jerk. I should have read this sometimes or else that would have made more sense. I chuckle. Teasing her always brightens my mood a little. Her reactions are adorable. I'm sure you like Star Swirl Academy. Just give it a chance, alright? I will, Ty, don't worry. I keep bumping my mouse. I'm sorry if that shows up on the video. The cabin goes quiet. Only the sound of the train clacking against the rails remains. After a few minutes of watching the passing landscape flash by, my eyes wander over to Ty. She's curled up against the window, resting her head in her arms. She seems so calm and peaceful. It's almost as if I were looking at a completely different person. Ty always was a workaholic, even when we were younger. She never stopped studying, and if she wasn't working on a homework or a project, she had at least a dozen clubs that she was, uh, she was at least a member of. In case you couldn't tell, this is My Little Pony game. It's no wonder she and I didn't spend that much time together in the past couple years. Walking to and from school was probably the extent of us seeing each other. Ty looks to be asleep, her face pressed against the panel of the train car. She tuckered out quickly. I guess even the workaholic can burn herself out. The rhythm of the train bumping against the tracks below is the only thing breaking the silence. Oh, the only one thing to do now. Spray shaving cream in her hand and <laughs> tickle her nose. <laughs> uh, let's wake her up. I want to... Hey, wasn't she just waking me up a minute ago? Turn around's fair play. I move over to her side of the train car, sit next to her, raising my hand slowly to poke at her cheek. Hey, slip ahead. Hey! Ha! 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 Wake up. My poke causes her to flinch and she swipes away my finger. Time to stop let me sleep. Ty doesn't open an eye as her words slur together. Hey, I nailed that. Rude! Don't you know it's rude to ignore people? Ty yawns as her eyes open slowly. Can't it wait? Can't it wait, Tom? I couldn't get any sleep last night. I cock an eyebrow at her. And whose fault was that? If anything, I owe you a free wake-up call. Consider us even now. What? Wonderful things. And go back to your side. Ever hear of personal space? I smirk and slip over the other side, claiming my old spot. Don't want people getting the wrong idea. Ah, ew, gross! Gross! No! So you do want them to get the wrong idea. Tom! Step! And here's where I draw the line between pushing buttons and mashing them. I shoot her a goofy smile. She sticks her tongue out in retaliation. Seriously, how are you not tired? Seriously, how are you not tired from last night? Truth be told, I am. How late were we up? Uh, uh, three o'clock. Not me, I fell asleep at two. That's because you fell asleep while we were still talking. Well, those were hours that I should have been in bed anyways, and the same for you. What kept you up? I just, I just couldn't sleep. I have no idea why. I close my eyes and yawn audibly. 
Come in your mouth. It's just you and me here. So I can see right down your throat. That's because you're staring at me again. Don't you know it's impol impolite to stare? Ty dumbfoundedly scoffs and shakes her head. I honestly have no idea what to do with you sometimes. Well, dating me would be fine. I smile and lean my head back until it hits the cushion behind me. Wait, now you're going to sleep? Thinking about it. After you so really woke me up just now? Well, I think... Uh, actually, sleep sounds like a great idea. Wake me when we get there. I smile to myself and let out a deep breath. <sighs> Pressing against the cushions of the train car seat. Let's, let's simulate that. You can't really hear it. I leaned against my seat. It was funny. I turned to my side, facing away from the sunlight, peering through the window. Dear Headmaster Solomon, hmm. I'm writing to thank you again for the opportunity to study at Star Swirl Academy. Audio? What? This is a visual novel. Ty Saito. Robin school? Douglas. Is that a guy? Impossible without your generous is Rainbow Dash a male? Ann Smith, students to transfer in for their senior year. Rosalind Montgomery, that I'll be able to find my talent all the same. I'll be arriving Faith on Summers, later this week, and I look forward to Polly Parks. Who is person. that? Who is Faith Summers? P.S. I should also thank you for making special arrangements for Tom. That's me. I'm Tom. Tom? Oh, Mom. snap, it's like an anime. Mom. Thought I was watching Dead Man Wonderland. Oh, I expected more animation. I don't know why, it's a visual novel. I probably shouldn't assume that there's going to be any animation. But there was, and I was like, whoa! Welcome to Star Swirl! Da -da -da -da. Oh, I'm supposed to click. I shift from sleep and let out a yawn. Welcome back to the land of the living, sleepyhead. You are out like a light. Uh, I wonder how long I've been recording. Whatever. I'll be back in the next episode where we are like lights.